Yo! Yo, welcome back to another video. As y'all see, as y'all can see, I ain't walking. Hyena. Hey, mama. Hyena. So I'm walking rocks to you right now, y'all. Taking them for a little walk. Um, so, I really don't want to walk her too much right now. Because I'm still trying to figure out some special things. I have some special announcements coming up soon. So, but, so we're taking her for a walk right now. Getting a little exercise in. I know it's been a long time since I done like an in-depth video of Roxy Hyena, aka the goat. But man, she has gotten thick. As y'all can see, she has gotten very thick. <laughs> the neck, look at the neck on her, man. It's crazy. Look at the shoulders. Feet straight. Man, I don't know. I just ain't, I've never seen a dog this good. I never, I never had even owned a dog that looked this good. I've never even seen a dog with the structure like this in person. So this is, um, this is quite amazing, even for me, guys. Every day I wake up and I look outside, I'm like, whoa, whoa. Is she really my dog? Like a real, real short, thick bull, 100 pounds. Crazy. It's 100 pounds from this little frame, y'all. And as y'all know, she fasted yesterday and she hasn't had a raw today, so right now, it's the smallest she will probably ever be. <laughs> going on the second day fast, going into the raw. So, yeah, she's big, y'all. She's huge. When we get to the um, the Lapurn up there, I'll get more of a better video for you guys. As far as just looking around her, looking at her posture, looking at her build, everything about her. And, uh, yeah. Take her for a walk. I really don't have to worry about her running off at all. If you are familiar with the videos, you know that Roxy is like one of the best when it comes down to walking. Like, I'm always having the, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really need this at all type shit. I don't have to hold it. As long as she feels something around her shoulders, she's gonna stay right next to me. And even if it, even if it wasn't around her shoulders, she's just one of those dogs that just wanna be right up on you. Special dog, y'all. She's so lazy, so I'm not gonna do too much running um, with her. She's mobile, but she's real, she's real thick. Her structure is not made for her to be athletic. She's not an athletic dog. She's a real, real, real bull, a short bull. But she's 100 pounds. If you could guess, with her structure, how high she is, how thick she is, how short to the ground she is, you, you guys gonna see when I get to the lake. You could guess, on what type of dog I would take her to. Leave it in the comment section. Tell me what she missing. If you can look at her and tell me what she missing, then you know exactly what dog gonna, uh, what dog gonna get her. And you know exactly what type of dog I'm gonna take her to. Y'all don't notice, but she, she almost a two-faced dog. Two-faced Murrah, you see that big old patch on her eye? Yes, sir, Ski. Yes, Erski. Combination like no other. I call her hyena. If you ever see a dog with a type of pattern like this and they put hyena in it, they got that from me, 100%. 100%. Just not no shit that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you see hyena on a chocolate murder like this, with this type of pattern, or with this color, because you're not gonna get the same pattern from no dog. If you see it anywhere and you see hyena, comment, spam, spam on their page and say, NBL taught you that. You got that hyena shit from NBL. You gotta tell you folks, I'm the leader in this. Hey, she waving. Everybody love a pretty dog, y'all. 
you take a dog like this anywhere, I mean, you can get all type of shit. I'm talking about whatever you think of. Everybody loves a beautiful dog. And when you say beautiful, uh, it's right here. It's right here. Sorry for the angles, guys. Sorry for the shaking. But I'm actually walking her and recording at the same time. But I'm getting her done, okay? Hey, look at this, y'all. Look what I got on. It's January. Okay. If you see the last video with Navy, I had um, I had a jacket on. Because my mama told me when I was growing up, I was just for the season, not the weather. But when you live in Houston, Texas, you're just for the weather. Okay? Because it's hot out here. Literally hot. All right, I'm back. My bad, guys. I had a storage problem. Had to, uh, so I deleted a bunch of old videos, but I kept it in my deleted. I don't know why I kept it in there. I, I wasn't even paying attention, guys. I just pressed delete, and I was thinking it was gone. But you know you got to go to the, you know, you know what you got to do. You got to delete it off the memory. So this video will not stop from here on out. It will be no clip, clip clipping, okay? Because you guys know on these type of videos, I don't like to clip it. I want you guys to see the whole thing. Okay, we have ducks. See her? I know for sure she can't catch a dove. Watch this, y'all. She can't catch a dove. She don't got the frame to catch a dove. And she's so smooth with it, she won't even try to. Look, off leash ducks. This is what you look for whenever you're trying to get a dog, y'all. You look for a chill, relaxed dog. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. She don't care nothing about that. Ooh. All right, so we got that. So you guys, check her out. Look at that. Structurally perfecto. Perfecto. Are you perfect, though? Are you a perfect structure of a dog? Come back this way, mama. Because I need to see how, how perfectly structured you is. Hey, mama. Hey, what you doing, mama? She goes, I'm checking out everything. I ain't been over here in a long time, daddy. Let me check out the lake. Let me see what's going on over here. I'm finna go, mama. I'm finna go. I'm finna go, mama. I'm finna go. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm finna go. I'm finna go. Yeah, I'm finna go. I'm finna go. I'm finna go. She like, boy, you not even finna leave me out here. You feed me every day. You are not finna leave me out here. So, look at it, y'all. Look at the shoulder, look at the feet. The back, the rear. She got a thick rear. It's a little high, but you guys know, man, she's still a puppy, still growing. I don't expect it to be too crazy. Um, as far as as far as um going down or being real low, I think it'll be. I think it'll always be just a little bit high, which is perfectly fine because the dog I'm taking her to, you guys know. Uh huh. Whenever you got a dog, and it's a problem, there's a flaw in them. What you do is you get another dog and you fix it, okay? I already had a dog that was perfectly structured, okay? Put in the comment section, you know who I'm talking about. Put with the color, the width, the chest that she has, those two together. Now it's starting to make sense. Yeah, I bet it is now. All right, got you going. Go for a walk. Let's go. You're not done. She's like, uh. Yeah, we about done. We about done. Uh -huh. Look at this last one over here. Thumbnail, she don't care nothing about it. She don't care nothing about them ducks. Look at this. Tail still just in the middle. Ain't up or nothing. This is what you want when, you got, when you're looking for a dog. She Navy? <laughs> yeah. Maybe might go get some. At least he's gonna try. I don't think he'll actually catch it, but I'm not finna play the odds. You put 
play with your dog. Then you're playing with mine right there. Now we were in the wild. Then I let him go. Cause I know for sure he won't catch that. But it'd be fun to watch. It's always fun watching dogs chase things they can't catch. Now when you see a dog catch some shit, that's when the problem comes. Maybe you might go chasing one of these ducks and uh, run around there, all the way around there. And somebody might be walking their dog. And next thing you know, we went from a duck chase to a dog fight. And we don't want that. So to avoid that, we don't get maybe that opportunity. For her, Zeus, Chloe, cool. Nyla, maybe, hell no. They're too athletic. All the other dogs are real short, short to the ground bulls. Maybe and Nyla are my two most athletic dogs. That's why I would never put them two together because I don't need dogs trying to jump up there, okay? Mm -mm. See, Navy and Nyla would try to jump up there. These dogs won't even look up there. Not saying they could, not saying they could. That ain't what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, I don't want a dog that would even try. Does that make sense? Come on, turn around, let's go. So I can't take her on the longest walks like I take the other dogs, because as you guys see, her muzzle is a lot shorter, her head is a lot bigger, and her body built is not really, you know, she don't have an athletic build, so you gotta be careful. You can't do everything with the same with every dog. You can't do the same thing with every dog. Make sure you listen to me. You cannot treat every dog the same. And you cannot do the same things with every dog. Like I can go on real heights, mountain heights, bike rides with Navy in Iowa. Their bodies can keep up with that. Zeus, Roxy, Chloe, that's a no. <laughs> that is a a little walk, okay? Like you are, if you're an older person, Navy, uh, Roxy, Zeus, Chloe, there, any any puppy from them is perfecto. They're going to play for about 15, 20 minutes. And they'll walk for about 30 minutes to an hour. But the running and all that, if you're trying to do all that running, you need to get something from Navy. But as you guys know, we have puppies available right now from Chloe and Zeus. If you're one of those people that just want to be in the house chilling, going on little walks here and there, little store runs, you want to get one of those puppies. Those puppies are a lot smoother, a lot smoother. They won't be as challenging to raise as it would be as a Niagara and Navy puppy. Not saying it's going to be hard, but it won't be as challenging because those dogs are a lot calmer, more relaxed, and they're, they're kind of raising. They're good dogs though, great dogs. They're what you want. If you're looking for a dog in this modern time, in the world we live in today, where it's not much activity, it's not many hikes, not a lot of parks, all that type of shit, then you get you one of your dogs, take to the park for about 15, 20 minutes, and boom, take them for a little short walks. Oh shit, you really don't gotta take them for a no walk. You just play with them for about five, 10 minutes with a with a towel, with a with a rope, and they, uh, they're done. They're ready right now. So we do have puppies available right now. If you're interested in getting a puppy for me by Valentine's Day, they will be ready. They will be, they will have their shots. They will be dewarmed and they will have health certificates and ABKC paperwork. Everything, the whole nine for the best price. Valentine's Day special. I got two people right now that held dogs. I got three, four people that's for sure said they're gonna get dogs, but as you guys know, um, I'm first come, first serve. I'm not, in the, I'm not in this for no popularity contest. I'm not in this for anything, but to make sure my dogs go to a healthy place, a healthy home, a healthy environment. So all my dogs are priced to sell. You hit me up, you want a puppy, send them send $500 to hold the puppy and come get the puppy in two weeks. Tuesday, they will be six weeks. I will do the first uh, round of shots. I will do the dewarming. Also, I will take pictures of the puppies to be updated. Two weeks after that, they're ready to go home. So the first week in February, they will be ready for their forever home. So we got a lot of work to do as far as getting you guys pictures, updated pictures, 
And, um, you know, just to keep you guys uh, in tune with what's going on. If you're interested in getting a puppy, you know to call my number, 206-499-0422. That number is 206-499-0422. It will be in the description below. Also, as you guys know, I made another YouTube page where it give you more of an in-depth look into my life as far as outside of the dogs, as far as my kids, my sisters, my nephews, my nieces, my mom. You know, they just give you more of a personal uh, a personal feel. If you go over there and subscribe to that channel and you watch any video on there, you will know me a little bit better. Just off one video, you will get to know me personally on a personal level, and it's fun. It's gonna be a fun channel. It's gonna do a lot of crazy shit on there. This channel is strictly dogs, dog walking, feeding, training, shots, uh, deworming, updates, visits, births, anything pertaining to a dog, you will get on this channel. So if you're interested in that, if that is that something that you like, make sure you like, coming and subscribe. Um, let me know what videos you want to see. I, I, I do read every comment. I'm one of those people that reads every comment. I'm one of those people that wants to uh, wants you guys to be a part of this community. And let me know what you guys think. If you have any type of recommendations on um, food, treats, activities, videos, you send it to, in the comment section. I will read it. I will comment. I will tell you when I'm going to do it. When I do it, when I do what you say, I will shout you out in the video, okay? So if you recommend something and I do it, if it's a good idea, I'm gonna shout your name out in the video. Um, maybe you guys can get you um, get your page going, man. So as you guys know, right here is when I do my running scene. You think she can run? Let's go. I can't beat Navy like this. Let's go, girl. Let's go. Let's go. I'm jetting it, y'all. <laughs> Come on, baby. All right, okay, okay, okay. Okay. She said, okay, Dad, that's not me. All right? I did as much as I could, but that's not me. Let's go. All right, y'all, I made it to my spot. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Man, we're growing so fast. Road to 50,000, y'all. Road to 50,000 subscribers. We're on the way. <laughs>